Hello everyone, this is Spoiler and I welcome you to Fallout 4, yeah. So, um... Yeah, we have a cat in the uh, stock in the drawer there, it's not creepy at all, but yeah, whatever. Uh, so we are in Fallout 4 because, yeah, I, uh, I have been playing it as of late. Uh, after a few years of pause, because I am really, ho I'm, I'm really waiting for Starfield, okay? And I needed something to, uh, uh, pass the time until then, and of course Fallout 4 is the, the best choice for that, I think. So I have been playing a lot of it, I have been reactivating one of my really old saves. I mean, I started this save probably three or four years ago. <laughs> um, I still haven't finished it. I mean, I have 500 dollars in this game. And the cat just teleported out of the uh, drawer, I think. Uh, yeah, I have 500 hours in this game and I haven't finished the story. Once. Not once. I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle. I just, uh, I think, I finished the Battle of Bunker Hill and I'm now at the start of Mass Fusion for the Institute. But I now uh, started uh, doing uh, Brotherhood stuff to try to figure out which faction I want to support at the end. So, yeah, I'm not really deep into the story like like now because I, I just, I, I use too much time for building. Really. But I, that's what I love about this game, it's the building. It's, if you use the right mods, it's probably the best base building you can get. I mean, I have, uh, I have Homemaker here. I have obviously OC Decorator because I can do this without knocking stuff over, so I have OC Decorator. Um, I also have Place Everywhere because Collision drives you nuts in this game. Uh, and I make heavy use of uh, console commands as well because, yeah, um, again, if you, if, you, if you don't do that, you, just, you won't be able to build anything. Um, so vanilla building is absolutely absolutely atrocious, but if you have to write mods and if you know your way around the console This game is absolutely awesome for building stuff uh, Which is what I want to do today. I want to show off my uh, my build in a uh, in a uh, home plate here in uh, Yeah in Diamond City my Diamond City flat basically so that's what I want to do. So uh, let's let's get into it uh, before we start just uh, how I go uh, how do I go about building okay if I do some builds uh, it, if I do builds in these games um, what I try to do is I'm not trying to do any kind of um, how shall I put it of themed build I don't do themed builds I always try to make a build that reflects um, how I will do it so if I were here in this world in this time um Actually myself not some made-up character, but actually myself. How would I try and um, Yeah, build this how how would I decorate and furnish this? How would I want to live in the post-apocalypse? So basically what I, what you see here is how I would do it if I were in this place in this time and in this world Basically, so now you know how I live <laughs> Basically, but yeah, that's that's how I go about this and, and I've never been great about in terms of doing a themed build like yeah I'm, I'm a raider or I'm, I'm a brotherhood uh, Soldier or something like that. I'm, I'm really just I'm, just I'm really just me in these games Except them playing a girl as you ca as you had uh, have seen at the start, but that is basically because uh, Yeah, you, you you search for your son and somehow I figured that would be more emotionally uh Rewarding if you if, if I will play uh, the mother of the of the of the child instead of the father I don't know, but that's just that's just the conclusion I had uh, when I started the game So that's why I play a woman just if you if you're wondering why I'm doing this But anyway uh, other than that. I'm just basically trying to be myself in these games. Um Yeah, so how how the how do we want to go about this? Let's just start here I mean, this is the uh, the main entrance. So and I figured if this were my flat here this is my main entrance and it's actually the same where where I live I mean the first thing you see when you come out the main entrance is basically the living area with uh, with the sitting with the sitting area with some decorations and some uh, some memorabilia and stuff so that's basically what you see when you come in uh, my actual place in the real world now of course the layout is different and I have different furniture and stuff but basically the concept is the same the first thing I want to want people to see is yeah the nice 
things. So the the where the cozy sitting area, the uh, the nice uh, memorabilia and collectibles I have, um, the uh, the the eating uh, table. So the the dining table, uh, the dining dining table is basically something of the first things you see when you come into my place. But anyway, uh, here it's just basically the concept. You come in. You can see the nice sitting area, you see all the nice stuff I have collected in the wasteland, you see my battle trophy, so I can really be like... Yeah, the first thing you see when you come in is, is the Deathclaw head. And then the you are Yao Gua, or however it is called over there. So yeah, that's just to impress people, basically. Uh, we have the Maya Lurk over here and the Rat Stack, of course. Um, yeah, and you can play some chess, uh, blast radios, and you can have a nuke and just kick back and relax after uh, saving the world, so that's basically the concept here. Um, I also like Nuka Cola, so you can see some Nuka stuff all over the place. There's a Nuka clock over there, you will have the Nuka truck, of course. And uh, there's some more Nuka Cola around the uh, around the, the flat, as you can see up there, for example. So that's, that's that. I really like Nuka Cola, because I'm also a cola addict in real life. I really like Coca-Cola as well as other cola brands. Uh, I like the stuff, just uh, I really love the stuff. So uh, having a Nuka, a, a cola brand in the game is really great for me. <laughs> it's just so, it's one of the things I love about Fallout is that it has its own cola brand. Uh, basically that. So yeah, um, you can also see a uh, Minuteman flag because I figure like my uh, character would be a supporter of the Minutemen. This just they just have basically the philosophy I can get that I can best get behind. So basically, uh, I mean the Brotherhood are kind of assholes. Um, the Institute are really, I mean, they're the bad guys, obviously. I mean, I just don't like them at all. Uh, the uh, the Railroad obviously are crazy. Um, yeah, it's just basically the Minutemen are the best hope for restoring law and order, <laughs> as far as I figure it. So that's why I support the Minutemen, so the flag over there. Um, but my character is also a patriot, so we have the uh, the, the pristine trifold uh, American flag over here. And we have another American flag up here. Uh, 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 oh, that's not... That's not what I want to do. So let's get up here. So we have another American flag up there as well. So I figured just she would be a patriot uh, and try to restore the American way and stuff like that. So yeah, um, that's that. And of course, uh, when you come in, you want to store your stuff like your uh, armor and your weapons and stuff. So there's lockers for that over here. There's also a big trunk for uh, like power armor parts and stuff. So uh, there's, there's there's an umbrella if if it rains. I mean, you might need an umbrella uh, for the radioactive rain, of course. Uh, of course, we need to concern ourselves with safety, so there's a fire extinguisher. And, of course, uh, the uh, med kit for all the various ailments we might bring back from the wasteland. And, of course, we have air conditioning as well. So, um, yeah, um, that's, that's that. Uh, as far as furniture goes, I try to use the uh, the beat up, tarnished, rusted away uh, versions. Oh, uh, wherever I can, because um, yeah, I feel that's more realistic. I mean, through the mods that I use, I would have access to the uh, the post war, uh, the, the pre war stuff that is really pristine and like that. But um, I don't use that as far as as much as I can because I feel like. This is more realistic and this gives me more of a fallout wipe, so I try to use the uh, the beat up stuff as much as I can. Um, I also do mi mix and match, so you can clearly see there's two different kinds of sofas here. If we go over here where the, uh, uh, the dining table is, we have four different kinds of chairs because basically I figure like if you go out to find furniture in the post-apocalypse, you won't find four identical chairs in good condition so basically uh, i have all kinds of chairs here just what i could find and uh holding holding back to the uh to the uh yeah to the flat here so i have different kinds of chairs if i have builds with, with uh, multiple tables i also have different kinds of tables same principle so just mix and match the furniture as well so you can see some of the furniture is similar others are just from completely different styles and I really like that. I mean, I just want to have a mix and match style here. There's something that I found in a vault over here and stuff like that. So it's really just mix and match post-apocalypse. You you get what you find uh, and it won't match, okay? So that's basically the idea here. Um, what else? So uh, up here is the, uh, the bedroom. Um, we have another locker here, which is a vault locker. Of course, I al already showed you the poster and the flag. 
Uh, no, so more storage, uh, foot locker trunk for storing stuff. Then of course we have the uh, the night table with some items on it, and of course a hairbrush because my character is a lady. And then uh, we have over here the uh, training area where she gets some uh, where she can build up some muscle to fight those death claws. And then of course the uh, office because yeah she is uh, she is the general of the uh, minute man of course so she uh, has to do uh, have to do or has to do no has to do is right. Uh, let me just see about that uh, water there. So she has to do some office work, of course. Um, and that's what this is for. And we have some filing, a uh, little filing area over here. And of course, a uh, safe for the uh, really valuable stuff. Um, the roof access. Now, it's a little bit sad that the roof is absolutely... There's nothing there. There's an empty trailer up there and that's about it. Uh, we can't build outside, so we can't build on the roof. Which is uh, a little bit disappointing, but I might do something in the creation kit at some point. Um, then, yeah, I figure since I am a big fan of uh, superhero movies, uh, I, li uh, I figure like she might be a comic fan because obviously you can't watch movies in the future, so um, she might be a comic fan and, uh, and read these. Uh, of course, there's a Grognak comic over here because I'm a, I myself am a big uh, Conan fan so I thought she might like Croc uh, Grognak of course over here so yeah that's uh, basically the um, the office and uh, sleeping area up here uh, she is also she's also a baseball fan so uh, yeah she's from Boston so why should it's just so why should or wouldn't she be and yeah that cat is really annoying uh, yeah and then over here we have the kitchen we have uh, of course, the big counter for preparing food, some kitchen items over here, some kitchenware, uh, some appliances. <clears throat> and then we have the uh, cooking stove for preparing the meals, the refrigerator and stuff. And yeah, I need to do some more cluttering over here. I know these are uh, mostly empty, but this is really what takes a lot of time. And um, I tend to... Uh, well, I tend to stop once I've put all the furniture because cluttering is not really the stuff that I like, especially these goddamn shelves. I mean, on here it's no problem, it's just a surface, you put something down and it sticks, okay? But in here it's really a pain in the ass to get that stuff on the on the exact shelf where you want it. That's just that's just a really pain, a real pain in the ass. So, um that's why I'm a little bit slow with this. I, I do it from time to time, but as you can see, there's a lot of empty spaces here. Yeah, that's basically that. So then what I really would have liked, if I were to be a, were able to place a door in here, unfortunately, even with all the mods I have, I can't place a door in here, which is a little bit annoying. So, um, because, yeah, this is a kitchen, and then we have the workshop over here, obviously. So, yeah. I'm really, uh, I really don't like that. There was, uh, if I if I had a choice, there were there would be a door in here. But if you know of a mod that allows me to place a door in here, please let me know. So the workshop is probably the uh, most finished area that I have. I would say. Yeah, I mean there there could be some more decorations like doing something with this empty wall here and this empty wall over here maybe some posters and signs and stuff uh, like I did over here so we have some uh, some warning signs over here because this is the chemistry table of course um, but I think that's that's the room that I'm most satisfied with because it really looks like a workshop it has all the stuff that you would find in here it has all the workstations we have two sets of power armor for the simple reason that I don't like this one uh, I know it's the best in the game, uh, or at least I think it is, um, but it's just ugly as hell. I mean, look at it. I mean, what the hell? So I'm, I'm really just mostly use uh, use this. So I really mostly use the uh, TIS T60F power armor over here because I think that looks much, much cooler. Um, but I have both versions, so if I really need to uh, get that last little bit of protection, I I take the uh, the X1 over here. So yeah, so that's the uh, the work area. So you see a lot of cluttering over here. Uh, there's there's uh, components and mini nukes and paint and uh, uh, materials and stuff lying around and tools everywhere. Uh, we even have some stuff uh, on here on the on the workbench like some screws and springs and stuff. Um, there's containers lying around. There's fuel canisters. Um, there's just some stuff like barrels and uh, there's there's a little uh, ladder here. 
uh, we have this thing, whatever that is, and uh, then of course a toolbox, and yeah, just some general general stuff like uh, like a clipboard and stuff like that, a uh, microscope. Uh, then we have this um, uh, appliance here that uh, yeah, whatever that is called in English, I don't know. Uh, in 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 my language, this is a sock cutter, but uh, what it is in English, I don't know. So uh, then we have, uh, of course, some uh, yeah stuff over here in the corner, like broom and some um, some buckets, and of course more stuff over here on this shelf, and the radio to pipe in some music uh, if we are working here, and the cat's bowl is over here because that stuff smells. I don't want that to be in the living area, of course. And yeah, the workbench is over here, and some wall text stuff on a on a little cart there. So and of course we do have a baseball. Um, uh, baseball, some basketball basket over here, and the basketball over there. So we can, uh, yeah, we can throw some uh, some basketballs over here if we want to. Um, that's about that. That's the workshop. I'm really, I'm really happy with that. I, I don't think there's much to do in here. I really like how that turned out. I mean, there's a little bit of decoration that could be done. I mean, there's an empty shelf over here, but yeah, and I could put some stuff on top of here probably, but. Overall, I'm really happy with it. Uh, you see, I, I try to be a really orderly person. Uh, I not always succeed. I mean, there are some areas in my house where it's not it's not as uh, orderly as it should be. But I really try to not have too much stuff flying around. So, and as I said, I try to uh, to uh, do these builds like I would do um, a place where I actually would want to live. So there's not much stuff lying around because of that. Yeah, now I would have to eat something, but uh, let's just ignore that. So yeah, that's that. That's my flat in uh, in uh, Diamond City, home plate. So uh, um, how do you find it? Do you like it? Do, don't you like it? I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments. Uh, just be nice about it. If you don't like it, just say so. But uh, don't be rude about it. I can't take I can't take criticism, but I can't take rude people. So uh, just be civilized about it. Let me know what you think, and uh, yeah, maybe maybe you have some good tips for me to uh, to do something that looks even better or uh, make some improvements to this. But uh, anyway, um, I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a like below. Be back for more Fallout content in the future or watch some other content on my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, then please consider doing so. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Uh, have a nice time. Be safe. Stay healthy. Bye.